안녕하세요. Hi everyone. Welcome to this Korean class again. This is 7th class, Step 2 Grammar Part. Let's read today's title. 이 길로 가면 오른쪽에 있어요. 가면. If. These are the expression today, which means if. If you go to this street or if you walk along the district, you can find on your left. There it's on your right. 오른쪽 is right. Um, in this time, we're going to focus on studying three grammatical um, factors and expressions. 음연, if. If you go to a certain place, 가면, 으로 가면, 으로 is direction particle to. To certain place. And 으려고 하다, be about to or plan to. Okay, 음연. Let's start with 음연 expression. 음연. There is an ending consonant. 음연 is attached. There is no ending consonant. 면 is attached. Exceptional cases is 리을. There is an ending consonant 리을. Just 면 is attached. Uh, 음연 expression can be attached after stem of verb or adjective. 먹다, eat. 많다, there are many. 자다, sleep. 열다, open. 먹으면, if you eat. 많으면, if, are, if there are many. 자면, if you sleep. 열면, if you open. 아이스크림을 많이 먹으면 배가 아파요. 배가 아파요 is expression for I have stomach ache. Or my stomach, stomach get hurt. If you eat a lot of ice cream, 먹으면, if you eat 먹으면, you would have stomach ache. 아이스크림을 많이 먹으면 배가 아파요. You can say to your kids or children, 아이스크림을 많이 먹으면 배가 아파요. Then, 짐이 많으면 큰 차가 필요해요. Jim is burden. If you, if there are a lot of burden, we need be car. 많으면, if there are many, if there are, there are a lot of. Okay, let's read again. 먹으면, 많으면. Next. Okay, let's read um, example sentences. 피곤하면 집에서 쉬세요. 세요. What is 세요 expression? Yes, that's expression for polite request. Please take a rest at home. If you are tired, 피곤하다 is get tired. If you are tired, um, please take a rest at home. 너무 비싸면 살수 없어요. 을수 없어요. Yes, we studied before. We can't. I can't buy it. If it's too expensive. 비싸다 is expensive. So if it's too expensive, I cannot, I'm not afford to buy it. Okay. 심심하면 if you are bored. 텔레비전을 보세요. That is also kind of polite request in parody form. Please watch the TV if you are bored. 창문을 열면 시원해져요. It will be cooler if you if you open the window. Open if you open the window. 열다 is open. 열면 if you open. 창문을 열면 시원해져요. 피곤하면 집에서 쉬세요. 너무 비싸면 살수 없어요. 심심하면 텔레비전을 보세요. 창문을 열면 시원해져요. Okay. 으로 방향 direction. And there is an ending consonant 으로. There is no ending consonant or there is an ending consonant 로. Um noun and 으로 is attached after noun, 식당으로, to the cafeteria. 식당 is cafeteria or restaurant. 회사로, 회사 is um, office. 
office to the office to my workplace 회사로 there is no ending consonant 로 회의실 로 if there is any consonant 리을 just 로 is attached meeting room to the meeting room 식당으로 to the cafeteria to the restaurant 회사로 to the workplace to the office 회의실로 to the meeting room 이쪽으로 to the this place 오세요 Come to, please come to this place. 이쪽으로 오세요. Please come to this place. 일이 끝나면 저 식당으로 오세요. Please come, please come to that restaurant, cafeteria, when, if, uh, the work is finished. When the work is finished. 지금 회사로 가고 있어요. Is a present progressive. I'm going to the office. I'm going to the office now. 지금 회사로 가고 있어요. 으로, 으로, 으로. 회의실로 가서 기다려 주세요. Please wait a moment. Just go, go to the meeting room and wait for the moment. 회의실 is meeting room. 가서, it's go. So is um just um conjunction to connect to um two events. Go to the meeting room and then wait for the moment. 회의실로 가서 기다려 주세요. 이쪽으로 to the this place. 식당으로 to the cafeteria. 회사로 to the office. 회의실로 to the meeting room. Okay, then. 으려고 하다 is be about to or plan to. Um, when there is an inconsonant, 으려고 하다. No ending consonant or there is an inconsonant, 일, 으려고 하다. 먹다, eat. 먹으려고 하다. I'm about to eat. 가려고 하다. I'm about to go or I'm plan to go. 살려고 하다. I'm plan to live. So 서울에서 살려고 하, 살려고 해요. I plan to live in Seoul. 배고파서 밥을 먹으려고 해요. I'm hungry. So um I'm plan to have a meal. I plan to have a meal because I'm hungry. 으려고 해요. 한국으로 여행 가려고 해요. I plan to go travel to Korea next year. I plan to go on a trip to Korea next year. 여행 가려고 해요. 한국에서 살려고 한국어를 공부하고 있어요. Uh, I'm studying Korean. Just I plan to live in Korea. Okay. 배고파서 밥을 먹으려고 해요. 내년에 한국으로 여행 가려고 해요. 한국에서 살려고 한국어를 공부하고 있어요. 레시 모어 엑잼플 센텐스. 버스가 지금 떠나려고 해요. 버스 is bus. 지, 지금 is now. 떠나다 is leave. Bus is about to leave now. Bus is about to leave now. 버스가 지금 떠나려고 해요. 저는 이번 주말에 박물관에 가려고 해요. I plan to go to the museum this weekend. 저는 이번 주말에 박물관에 가려고 해요. Museum. 다음 휴가는 제주도로 가려고 해요. I plan to go to 제주도 in next holiday, next vacation. 다음 휴가는 제주도로 가려고 해요. 려고 해요. 여자친구에게 주려고 꽃을 샀어요. I bought a flower, got this flower, to give, um, to give my girlfriend. Uh, again, 여자친구에게 주려고. I'm, I plan to give the flower to my girlfriend. So, 여자친구에게 주려고. That is, to give 
the flower to my girlfriend. I bought a flower. 여자친구에게 주려고 꽃을 샀어요. 살을 빼려고 운동하고 있어요. I'm doing an exercise to lose the weight. 살을 빼다. Lose the weight. 살을 빼려고 운동하고 있어요. 물을 마시려고 냉장고를 열었어요. Um, I opened the fridge to drink a water. Okay. In that case, to in order to do something in order to do something like that is 으려고 expression i bought a flower in order to give my girlfriend give it to my girlfriend i'm doing an exercise in order to lose the weight I often I open the fridge in order to drink a cup of water. There are um three meanings that is be about to like about to leave and I plan to go to museum plan to be about to and plan to and in order to in 려고 하다 expression. Okay. That's it for today. Thank you. 감사합니다. Okay, let's see more example sentences. 버스가 지금 떠나려고 해요. 버스, 버스, 지금 now. 떠나려고 해요. 떠나다 is live. In this sentence, 려고 해요 is be about to. 떠나려고 해요, be about to leave. The boss is about to leave now. 지금 버스가 떠나려고 해요. Then, second, 저는 이번 주말에 박물관에 가려고 해요. Um, on this weekend, I plan to go to the museum. In this sentence, plan to. 여고 해요 expression has a meaning of plan to. 다음 휴가는 제주도로 가려고 해요. It also has meaning of plan to. I plan to go to Jeju도 on next vacation. 다음 휴가는 제주도로 가려고 해요. Then, last sentence. 물을 마시려고 냉장고를 열었어요. 살을 빼려고 운동하고 있어요. 여자친구에게 주려고 꽃을 샀어요. 주려고, 빼려고, 마시려고 is used in the middle of sentence. It can be the meaning of in order to do something. I bought a flower in order to give my give it to my girlfriend. I'm doing an exercise in order to lose the weight. 살을 빼다 is lose the weight. 냉장 무슨 물을 마시려고 냉장고를 열었어요. I opened the fridge in order to drink a water. So in these cases, it has those expressions are uh, the meaning of in order to do something. But 려고 expression uh, is with 해요 expression. It can be the meaning of be about to do something or plan to do something. Okay, let's read again. Um, thinking about this meaning. 버스가 지금 떠나려고 해요. 저는 이번 주말에 박물관에 가려고 해요. 다음 휴가는 제주도로 가려고 해요. 여자친구에게 주려고 꽃을 샀어요. 살을 빼려고 운동하고 있어요. 물을 마시려고 냉장고를 열었어요. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you. 감사합니다.